Um, throughout the night, our rescue operations have continued. Uh, we were able to locate one victim and we are able to extra extract them from the building. As of eight o'clock last night, we had reported seven rescued. After that eight o'clock briefing, we did have one more additional rescue after that point. I have no confirmed deaths at all this time. Iowa Task Force One, the Cedar Rapids Division, arrived overnight and they began additional search and rescue operations assisted by canine units. Um, they've been working throughout the night and they are still on scene at this time. We've had multiple structural engineers that have been on site throughout the night to provide technical guidance to our, for our rescued effort. We are currently finishing the rescue phase of our operation and we will, and soon it will become a recovery operation. At this time, the building is structurally unsound, is posing a risk to responders, and we are actively working for the best course of action for the building. There has been, as far as a r large rental unit, there's been normal rental complaints, but there has been some complaints to the structure. We issued notice and orders to have those repaired. The building owner hired their own engineering firm to direct them and the repairs needed to be made. So once fire releases the scene, we'll begin an extensive uh, investigation to find out what exactly caused it.